Welcome to Easy Freezer Meals. My name's Eric, and I'd first like to welcome all of you who are new to this channel. Thanks for joining the Easy Freezer Meal family. Today, we're going to be making mushroom bacon leek and chicken casserole as an Easy Freezer Meal. The first thing we want to do is prepare our bacon, mushrooms, and leeks. This is fairly straightforward. You want to slice the bacon and cook it till it's crispy, clean the mushrooms and slice them thin, and then clean your leeks and then slice those thin. The recipe is going to be posted below, as with all the instructions, but I think you're going to love this easy freezer meal. As we cook our bacon and get it till it's nice and crispy, that bacon fat is going to render, and that's what we're going to cook our leeks and our mushrooms in. So once the mushrooms have been sliced thin, then slice your leeks fairly thin. Begin by adding the mushrooms to your pot of bacon and rendered bacon fat. Give it a toss or two just to move around some of that bacon fat and allow those mushrooms to cook for a minute or so, and then go ahead and add your leeks. After you add your leeks and give it a mix, cook this for about five minutes and then add your minced garlic. This is all gonna be cooking in that rendered bacon fat, imparting a delicious smoky flavor Turn the heat down to a medium or a medium low while you prepare your chicken. Now what we're gonna be using is chicken thighs for this. I like chicken thighs, they're very juicy, they can handle long cooking times, and all we're gonna do is put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's it. We're using boneless, skinless chicken thighs for this recipe, and all that we're gonna do is on a cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil, on a medium high heat, we're gonna brown each one of those thighs. I'm not too worried about cooking it, what I wanna do is impart a lot of flavor. And so by doing this, the Maillard reaction is taking place. It's given me a little bit of color and a whole lot of umami flavor. This step is completely optional, but if you do it, you won't regret it. Once the chicken has been browned on both sides, I'm gonna set it to the side. Now this is where I'm gonna do it a little different than probably you're gonna do it. Because we run a commercial business preparing freezer meals, we package our proteins separate than the dish. But if you're gonna be making this dish at home, for your family, for yourself, then you're gonna to wanna to cook the chicken inside the gravy that we're about to make. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sous vide the chicken at 165 degrees for two hours because I wanna be able to independently control the portion that goes in each one of my plates. Now that the chicken is done, we're gonna finish the casserole by adding our liquids. We're adding our white wine and we're gonna cook that on a medium heat for about five minutes till that alcohol taste has gone out. Once the alcohol flavor has evaporated out of the wine, we're gonna go ahead and add the thyme and the chicken stock. Now, you remember earlier where I said you may be doing this different than me. If your chicken has not been cooked, this is where you're gonna add it to your dish. Making sure that it's on a simmer, add all your chicken back into this mix and cook it for 45 minutes. Uncovered, and this is gonna leave your chicken so juicy and fall apart tender. When the 45 minutes is almost over, take the last two remaining ingredients, which is cream and rice flour, and whisk those together. It should create a bit of a slurry. Take that slurry and go ahead and incorporate that back into your pot with all the rest of your ingredients. You do want to make sure that you mix it really well as you're pouring it in, because otherwise it's going to start to get clumpy. And in just a few minutes, you're going to notice that your casserole gravy has thickened up quite nicely. This is exactly what we're looking for and you're gonna love it on the reheat. So let's go ahead and plate it up. I'm gonna be plating this dish up with creamy mashed potatoes and if you wanna know how to make those creamy mashed potatoes, check out that link in the top right hand corner. You can plate this up with pureed cauliflower over rice. It really doesn't matter, it kinda stands alone. Because I cooked my chicken separate, I'm now able to add it back to the dish. But in your case, if you cooked your chicken with the casserole, then you're just gonna spoon that out into your freezer-friendly container. Once I've done that, I've covered it with the gravy, and now we have our mushroom, bacon, leek, and chicken casserole. All I'm gonna do is put a lid right on top of them, make sure they're completely cooled, and freeze them. Do you wanna see what one looks like when we bake it from frozen? Well, this is about six weeks later, and we're just gonna take the top off and at 350 degrees, bake it for about 45 minutes. And here we go. That gravy has really coated the chicken. The mashed potatoes are super velvety, really creamy. There's a richness to them that just pairs so perfectly with the smoked bacon and the mushrooms and the leeks. And I think you're gonna love it. Thanks for checking out Mushroom Bacon Leek and Chicken Casserole as an easy freezer meal. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, 
we'd like to invite you to subscribe and click that notification bell. We post new recipes each week on how to make easy freezer meals. Thanks for sticking around to the end. We'll see you in the next video.